Hey, what's up, you guys? Ugh, I can't do this. <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy Drew here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today, as you guys can read the title of this video, we're gonna talk. Whoa, uh, we're gonna talk about the U.S. men's national team roster for the 2019 January camp. Greg Brother's first two games in charge will be next year in January. This is his first official call up for the players. Um, I'm excited to talk about it. I hope you guys are excited to talk about it. Lots of big surprises in this li lineup. Basically, basically, the whole fucking lineup is just a big, like, well, you know, I kind of expected that. <laughs> so I'm not going to mention every single player that was listed um, or called up or whatever. Um, I'll just leave a little graphic around here somewhere that you guys can check out. And I'll also leave a link down below that you guys can check out the rosters for yourselves. But if you're watching this video, pretty good chance. You already, you know, saw the lineup. So without further ado, let's get into it. And, oh wait, let me let me tell you what I want to talk to you about. I'm gonna give you some cool little facts about the roster that was called up. Uh, talk about players who haven't been who haven't been capped. That, they, that this is gonna be the first cap for the national team, and my opinion on that. And then my opinion on the whole, you know, lineup itself, Go, going by position uh, to position, like goalkeeper to forward. So let's talk about it. Yeah, come in. What do you want? I don't know. I just I heard you. I was like, is he talking to me? You can say hi if you want. I'm recording it. <laughs> Why are you trying to duck my eyes? I don't know. Why <laughs> are you so loud? That's my sister. She's going to be in a video one day. <laughs> You're so stupid. Okay, since there's no more interruptions, hopefully, let's get into uh, players who are getting their first caps for this national team ever. The first ever national team cap, at least senior national team cap, because some of them have gotten some, uh, like, you know, the U19 under whatever. Um, but anyway, so first caps for these players. Corey Baird, Russell Canu, say, Jeremy Ebobise, Justin Glad, Nick Lima, Daniel Lovitz, Mark McKenzie, Jordi Mihalovic, Tyler Miller, Christian Ramirez, Keegan Rosenberry, and Philly boy Austin Trust. I mean, yeah, Austin Trusty. Um, so congrats to these players for getting their first caps for the national team. A lot of them expressed their, you know, their their pride and, you know, excitement to be capped for the national team on Twitter and social media and all that shit. So that's pretty cool to see them be, to, that's cool to see them acknowledge it and be excited about it. That's what we need. We need excitement in this. <laughs> um, if, some quick fact right now, guys. The, the average age for this lineup, for the whole uh, camp, is only 24 years old. That's crazy. A lot of these players are so young, um, excluding uh, Michael Bradley, who is like, who actually, that's like, hold on. Sorry. That's like the biggest surprise I had in this whole January camp. I was like, Michael Bradley, like the most random, not random, but like, you know, I kind of thought he was, you know, kind of kicked to the side after all that shit went down with not qualifying for the World Cup. But whatever, maybe he'll be better under uh, Greg Brother. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for this, uh, this, this um, these two games against, I think it's against Panama and, oh, fuck, Panama and Costa Rica, perhaps. This is kind of the camp that I expected Greg Brother to... Uh, make when I first found out that he was going to be the U.S. Men's National Team coach. I was like, you know, he looks like he's the kind of guy who's going to really be engulfed. Well, he said he's the kind of guy who's going to be engulfed in the youth, and, you know, that's important to him, and he's shown that in Columbus Crew. Um, so a lineup worth, like, a lot of young talent coming in, young and a lot of young new talent as well, with just a splash, just a little sprinkle of um, experienced players, uh, you know, being that being, you know, uh, obviously Michael Bradley and uh, Callan Acosta. Other than that, everyone else is pretty... Pretty, still pretty new to the national team uh, camp. Um, Kanakosa, mind you, only has 23 caps. Uh, Michael Bradley has like, what does it say? Like, yeah, 142. So big gap, big huge gap <laughs> between those caps. Um, and other than that, a lot of the cap uh, players here only have like, not even, not even 10. I, I, everyone else is like basically under 10 uh, caps, except Will Trap who has 11. But who's really counting that much? Um, oh wait, Yazi Zardes is in here too. So Yazi Zardes has got like 40 caps, so he's pretty experienced with the national team as well. Um, but like I said, just a little sprinkle of experience. A lot of this, a lot of this camp is basically new young talent, which I'm excited for, which is what we need because you know we got four years um, to work on getting to the World Cup and, and work on building a really good core team that's going to take us to the World Cup. Hopefully, it's not a given. Remember what happened last time? It's not a given, guys. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, I really like that whole young bringing young players in and I love that a lot of the young players are from MLS because that shows not just the league and the country but the rest of the freaking world who thinks MLS is a joke they can see that you know what we're, we're producing some pretty good talent and you know in Calum Acosta, uh, Tyler Adams, um, basically this whole roster here, Justin Glad, a lot of 
good young talent coming up through the ranks through MLS. Um, so really great and really excited to see how they, they all perform. And why do I keep turning my chair? Like, it's just like a natural, like, anxiety tick. <laughs> okay, so let's go through the, the positions and I mean, talk, talk about, like, some key aspects of it and what, what I'm excited about or what I hope for out of these positions. Uh, start off with goalkeepers. Uh, obviously, Zach Steffen's going to start probably both games, if not basically one at least because, first of all, he's a... He is the goalkeeper of the year for MLS, so how are you not going to start goalkeeper of the year in goal? And mind you, Zach Steffen only has six caps to his belt under his belt, um, and he just became capped this year, and he's goalkeeper of the year. Like that's insane. Like this guy is such a beast in goal. He's gonna be the number one all the way to the World Cup. I I have faith in that. I really believe that he's gonna be our number one consistent goalkeeper. So uh, props to Zach Steffen. But I also hope that maybe Tyler Adam, Tyler Miller gets a chance to shine and show how good he is because I think he's a really good uh, underrated goalkeeper and I hope that this camp really helps to engulf him in the U.S. men's national team because I think he could be second to Zach Steffen uh, in goal and you know Alex Bonham third and you know as a you know a big backup like a Nick Romando type like we had Tim Howard, we had Brad Guzan, we had Nick Romando, now we can have Zach Steffen, Tyler Miller and maybe Alex Bonham. So for defenders I'm really excited to see obviously my Philly boys uh, Mark McKenzie and Austin Trussie getting their first caps for the U.S. Men's National Team under their belt. I'm really excited to see how they perform. I'm really, I'm really hope that they get a chance to shine, get a chance to perform, at least come on as a sub. Because uh, you know, we get, like I said, we got Walker Zimmerman in there. We got Aaron Long, who's, who's also making oh, only his third cap. Excuse me. Um, but a lot of the, a lot of the back line is really young and really unexperienced. I mean, a lot of them don't have any caps under their belt, like like Justin Glad, who was a really young prospect coming up through the ranks in MLS, thanks to RSL, who have shown to produce lots of great talent. Um, so I'm really excited to see Justin Glad get his spot. I know he played for like a younger tournament for uh, the men's national team, uh, and he performed pretty good there. So I'm hoping he can carry his good form here to the main stage of the senior squad. Um, so really excited for that, and also really excited to see Keegan Rosenberry Former, uh, former Philadelphia Union boy. He was probably like the best player in Philadelphia Union. Now he's gone to Colorado Rapids, so that's a really big blow to Philly Union. And Philly Union, man, just making it harder and harder for them to like you. Uh, taking a fan favorite, taking one of the best players, and just trading them or selling them, whatever, for some cash. Come on, Philly boys. What the, what the hell are you doing? So what I forgot to mention in terms of uh, the lineup is we're, we're missing a pretty big name, um, pretty key player in this lineup or in this whole January camp and that being Christian Pulisic. Now a lot of people are going to say you know what he's over, he's off with Dortmund trying to get a spot his spot back from um, from Sancho so he's probably too busy to come and play two friends with the US national team and you know I kind of agree you know whatever let him do his thing we don't have to keep bringing him in for every single game and just like over exhausting him for club and country um, same for the big games same with the, the, the games that matter and you know um, I'm a big fan of like bringing our, our main players or key players like someone like that into like one or two friendlies before a big competition just to get his feet wet again and like get engulfed in the whole uh, system. But whatever, Greg Broth has got time for that. So what I'm, who I'm really excited to see in this midfield for this January camp is 19-year-old Jordi Mihalovic. Uh, Jordi Mihalovic, I hope I said that right, probably not. From Chicago Fire, I'm really excited to see how this young player does. I really hope he gets a chance to shine. Um, really excited, also excited to see Kellen Acosta because he's one of my favorite U.S. Women's National Team players, and he's been in the national team a lot. You know, he's been I uh, scored two goals out of his 23 caps. Um, but I just he's one of my favorite players. I buy him all the time in FIFA because he's just a fucking tank. Um, same thing with Christian Roldan. I'm, really, I'm a big fan of Christian Roldan, and also excited to see. His first debut as a national team player, Rasu Canuse from DC United. I, I also think I said that name wrong. Canuse, Canuse, Rasu Canuse from uh, the central midfielder from DC United. And um, other than that, that's pretty much it for that. Oh, Corey Bird as well. I forgot to say Corey Bird probably probably be playing on the wing somewhere in the midfield. Uh, another young prospect from Rio Salt Lake. Again, Rio Salt Lake just bringing in all these young players to MLS to the national team. To the fucking world. <laughs> As for strikers, you know, I'm really excited to see how Christian Ramirez does from LAFC. He was in pretty decent form there. I'm um, really excited he got a call up. I think he was well deserved. Also, with uh, who also really deserved this call up. Sorry, my water bottle popped for no reason. Uh, who this other player deserved their. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Jeremy Ebobise definitely deserved the call up. He played tremendous for uh, Portland Timbers. He played pretty decent in that final. 
on the last cup final, but um, what are you going to do if you're gonna, your team's not as, as good as Atlanta United? It's not, your, not really your fault. Um, really excited to see him and how he does. Really great, strong, pacey player. Um, I really think he should get the start ahead of Yazzie Zardes, but I think Yazzie Zardes is going to get the start. But you know what? We'll talk about lineups, predictions, and all that stuff in January when the when the games come closer. I'm going to, like, I have a plan to have a little graphic somewhere and, you know, predict my start in 11, predict the way he's going to set it up, just based on the way he set up his Columbus Crew team, and I'll just fill in the players from there. Uh, but whatever. Um, so, <laughs> all in all, I'm really a big fan of this whole January camp. Um, so far, Greg Baralter has appeased me. Uh, I, I'm all for him right now. I hope he doesn't screw it up. I hope, I hope we don't lose these games, because if he loses his first game, even his first game, or both, um, it's not going to be a good impression. I'm scared if he does lose his first games or not do well in, in these two games, that he's going to you know, you know, be a little afraid to to experiment like this and just go back to like getting all, all the other older players back into the lineup just so he has a safety net to win a game uh, under his belt. But whatever. Uh, I don't think that, that that's, I don't think it's gonna be the case. I think this team is gonna show has shown that they're they're really good players that they deserve the spot and that they will go for the win because they're young, they're hungry. That's what we need in America. And that's how we're gonna win the World Cup one day, guys. Not in the next World Cup, but maybe the one after. <laughs> um, anyway, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this whole lineup. Let me know down below if there are any players that you think deserve the call up. Um, let you know put their name down below. We'll definitely have some chat about that. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh,